Bye, FM22. Thank you so much for the memories. Seriously, thank you so much for the memories, FM22. Let's go into FM23. Yay! So we're going to start a save with every team in the world in it, and we're going to look at people. That is what I like to do. I, I'm going to be unemployed, and we're going to create the entire database, okay? Early season, yes. I am unemployed, yes. Custom database. Save game setup. Loans bring us better education. Very, buddy. You guys excited for the beta? Oh my god, the beta's here. Football manager's here. Oh. I named my person I'm early. Let's create a new profile. All right, this is Owen. Or Zealand Vanderhorst. We randomize. Dude, the hair options. What am I? Am I just flat? Oh, the, the head options are different. So what do we think? Absolutely. I don't even know what that is. Absolutely. What? All right. We can't disguise his wonderful jawline, but what we can do is just make it worse. And that's what we're going to do here today. Um, I feel like any glasses are really just going to mitigate the impact of his overall facial structure. So we're just going to not put glasses. Oh, we're going to go to attire. Uh, I'm going to randomize this attire. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think I might have found a glitch. Um, does anybody feel like reporting this? Um... Yep. Absolutely no questions asked. Wait, so he's got miscolored earrings? Yes. I don't think it works exactly right, but that's totally fine for me. Continental Pro, international, global level, absolute superstar. Let's go. Ah, I felt like I was going to break the game. Okay, Holland. It's worse than I thought. It's worse than I thought. I mean, like, he's obviously a god, right? He's a physical god, but it is worse than I thought. Positioning is defensive, Renix. So it's all about off the ball, which is your offensive positioning, and that's 18. Positioning is a defensive attribute. Is that 200 C's outside of scouting scope? Well, Ned, you know. Did you know that every fourth koi fish is fake? All right. Messi. See, you're starting to make him less athletic, but he's still like, I don't know, for a year, you'd take that over Erling Holland, I think. Right? Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh. Well, well then, Cristiano, the five teamwork, that is tough, seven work rate, huh, monster down, dude, remember at the beginning of FM22, he was arguably the best striker in the game, they have devastated him. But remember, positioning is a defensive attribute. Okay, off the ball is your offensive movement. It's important to remember that. They're just saying he literally can't play any defense. But you stick him up there, you pay him $29 million a year, and you knock the ball towards him. Maybe he can make something happen. Free kicks at 10. Hey, you telling me that this stance and you clinch the, you clinch the butt cheeks and you stand like this? That stance alone is worth 15. That's worth 15 free kicks right there. You just, boom! And you flex. And then, the huge benefit to that is that you can then post the picture on Instagram. Yo, who I want to see is Vinicius. I think Vinicius is going to get a huge upgrade. Yeah, you see, he's already better than he was last year. Vinicius catching the upgrade. That value. 
What? 140 to 419 million dollars. All right, and the, the last, you know, major lad, Killian and Bupe. Still got the 20 acceleration, 20 pace. Great holy. They've made him more of an out and out striker now. He's more of a, like, he can totally advance forward where before he was more of a inside forward. Look at his wage! I honestly, in real life, it's probably higher than that. That's a million a week. In real life, it's probably higher than that. Do they even know exactly how much it is? Ocean Williams, thank you for the 16 months. Lee Like Devil, thank you for the 18. All right, now the one everybody was waiting for, Indrik, who is the wonder kid. I mean, I guess he's 15, but he's no Sebastian Beaver. Yeah, I mean, he's he's no Sebastian Beaver. Got 18 flair, though. And they did give him traits. Runs with ball. They gave him four traits. You know, always tell when they've really scouted a guy. They give him four traits. Now, you know why I want to see his Benzema. That guy. The Paxton Aarons is actually really good in real life. Karim Benzema. Oh, my goodness. They gave him the 20. My boy got the 20 technique. The Ballon d'Or gave him the 20 technique. Legendary striker. 20 technique. 20 first touch. Dude's got the sauce. 18 passing, 18 vision for Karim Benzema. He's so slow. He's so slow. Now everybody and their mother is going to be signing this guy in their save. I, I can already tell you this guy's going to be a top five bargain wonder kid in the game. Just stick him as an advanced playmaker in a 4-2-3-1 and you're just going nuts. I mean, that is... Oh, he's so unathletic, but it's 17 and he's like a young 17 to have that technical and mental ability. You know what sucks, though? That, dude. What is that? Eight decisions? Eight? Eight decisions. How's he supposed to do? Uh, what's he supposed to do as an advanced playmaker? He doesn't actually know what decisions to make. He just has every other ability. Odds that I can spell Kvishik Farid Skellia in one attempt. <sighs> no, I, I can't look. I can't look. It'll come up. I'm not looking. I closed my eyes. I'm looking down at the keyboard. Okay, let's see. it. Mm. <sighs> Prime for FM23. I want to see Diogo Costa Z and shout. I? Skellia? No! <laughs> I've failed you. I'm pretty sure that's right. Kvaraj? Oh, I was... Only two letters off. Wait, what? What? What's their name in the? I look. He's a god. I get it. What's their? What? They named them Parthenope. They named them Parthenope. Napoli's called Partha. Nope. He's really good, though. He's really good. Par yeah, he plays for Partha. Nope. You might have heard of them. His passing's not great, and his work rate's not great. But his ability to carry the ball, and I'll be honest, this is kind of a version of, the, this is essentially the same attribute that they just raised them all, but like, this is what they had when he was at, he was in the Russian League. There are 12 guys with 20 pins, including Robert Lewandowski. 
Yeah, that's pretty. You know, they just gave him the, the, the mentals are nuts. Oh, the natural fitness is 22. He's not he's going to be able to play at a high level until he's 40. He will be able to play at a high level until he's 40 with that natural fitness. Like you will be able to sign 37 year old Robert Lewandowski and he will still be bagging goals. 20 natural fitness. I'm going to be honest right now. I'm going to compare him with, uh, we, we'll go back to Holland for a second and we'll see who you think is better in the game. Because I think it's actually really close. Erling Holland's just a freak athlete, but and Robert Lewandowski is a better Holy Trinity than Erling Holland. It's better in the air. He's got that penalty taking, that technique, the pace though, just it's a game changer for Holland. Who do you think is better, Holland or Lewandowski right now? One game, you need a striker in your tactic. Are you taking Lewa or Holland based off of these attributes right now? Hollandowski. Honestly, I'm seeing a pretty good balance. Although HUD is leaning Holland like. Yeah, it's going Holland probably 70% here. Arling Holland. Erling Holland does. They both have 20 determination. This makes me believe that determination is probably going to be uh, more important this year. If, if in order to make players really good, you give them really high determination, that's going to be better. I'm surprised that so many people wanted Lewandowski, honestly. Neymar's got the. Oh! Mamma mia! Neymar with the juice. That's he's nasty right now. That is nasty. He's not unathletic. He's just nasty with it. Doesn't defend. And the teamwork's not great. Right, work rate's always going to be low. But that honestly, he's. I feel like he's better than he was last year. Look at the wage. PSG's wage bill has to be insane. Both him and Mbappe are getting like a million a week. A crap team and make it great. Does he have a special skill? Uses SF. Likes to beat opponent repeatedly. He runs the ball often. Tries tricks. So he's got all of the flair stuff in there. Levi, thank you for the prime. I don't like Ibrahimovic. 20 flair, baby! Zlatan! 40 years old, come get it. 20 natural fitness, still going strong. Zlatan. Honestly, in a team that plays around him, that moves around him and plays around him, he still has a he still has a job to do. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But the problem is when you're 40, right? In the game, Damn when you're 40. Long shot should be higher than 15, game. that's for sure. Like even 20 natural fitness isn't gonna save you. I think he's out of the game in a year. He becomes so unathletic, it doesn't even matter. Serious, thanks for the eight months. Where's the finishing on Raheem the Dream? Oh, they made him bad, bad. Oh, I don't know what I think of that. I mean, like, he's still got the athleticism, but he got a serious downgrade. Raheem the Dream got a serious downgrade. Yeah, the 20 off the balls there, They all, but they only gave him 15 work rate. He used to be like the work rate stamina monster with the athleticism all over the place. 20 tackling. N'Golo Conte. You can't seriously still be on this. He's the only one in the world. The entire footballing world has one guy that has 20 tackling and it's Aaron Juan Basaka. 20 tackling on Aaron Juan Basaka. And he's a pretty good athlete. He's got that going for him. And he's really not that bad. Good thing they only spent $57 million on a ridiculous story. The only player in the world with 20 tackling. Wait. Ah! Cl 
class is permanent. Class is permanent. He's still got it. I mean, he, 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 these are basically Ozil's attributes at all times, right? 20 technique, 21st touch, can pick out a dime, doesn't really care. Unathletic, does not work hard. Unpredictable attacking midfielder. Be fun to manage Bashaksha here and just see what he's capable of. My God. Connor Bolger. Or Bolger. Whatever you prefer, sir. The only player in the whole world with 20 long shots plays for he's on loan from kill winning rangers in the was premier a semi-professional league connor bolger google him i will his club not trying to get dmca'd here hot shot we when you say in connor bolger connor firstly welcome to the club i uh, cheers thank you i'm buzzing to get gone Yeah. Sorry, it's the accents. They're so cool. I love Scottish accents. We, we need subtitles. I didn't I didn't understand what he said the first thing he said. I was like, what? We when you say in Corabulja, Cora, firstly, well. I don't know what those words are. On this episode of Translating Scotland, what does this guy say at the start of this interview? What are those words? I will try the closed captions. There's no way they're going to work. We were you saying, Cora Bolger, Cora, firstly, welcome to the club. They didn't even, <laughs> he didn't even pick it up. They're like, that's not English, dude. Those are words. It doesn't even pick up the words, chat. We were you saying, Connor Bolger, Connor, firstly. I think he's saying, like, we were saying or so. I, I really don't know. Let's listen to the other view. We were I, you saying, Connor Bolger, Connor, firstly, welcome to the club. Aye, uh, cheers, thank you. I'm buzzing to get gone. Um, you signed from Nielsen. Uh, what was it brought you to Quinn Rangers? Uh, well, for a start, through the full season, I've kind of been watching top league teams, so I think that was a bit of a push to go for it and try something different. Obviously, we're in the league below, but I think with the facilities up here, the gaffers, the expectations, just the park in general and all the fans is enough to make me put pen to paper. I'm struggling so much right now. I'm struggling so much. I'm getting like, with our new signing? Uh, yeah, no, firstly, welcome to the... Okay. <laughs> what, you're a winger. What, uh, what should the fans expect from you as a player? I uh, like to get on the ball, get to the byline. More about going direct straight away, not really going back. Plenty of assists and goals and just hope to contribute to the goal tally of the team. And what would you say your, your kind of expectations and hopes are for the, the season ahead? Uh, well, obviously pushing for the league is the main one, the first one. Hopefully all the boys that the gaffers brought in looks like a right strong squad and hopefully we can just push it and see what it it's a right strong squad, chat. Takes us. Cheers, Carl. Thank you. Yes, yeah, scoring some, scoring some bangers. Okay, that was uh, that was that was fantastic. Thank you, Connor. And by the way, that individual, this dude right here, the only football, not Messi, not Slatan, not Mbappe, not Erling Holland, this proper lad. The only player in the world with 20 long shots. Yeah, of course he likes to get up and down the field because he... Uh, I... Share. Copy. Got it. Uh, we're tweeting this out. He is officially my new favorite player. Remove only? I mean, he literally is the only one. It's Connor Bolger on loan from Kill Winning Rangers at Geitkern. The Geitkern Juniors. He's the only one. The only one. 
His attributes are randomized. He isn't 20 on mine. It's over. It's over. Why? Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. It, do it doesn't make any sense, Jeff. Who makes random attributes, dude? That is not how this game is supposed to work. <sighs> Fine. I'll delete my tweet. All right, whatever. Never mind. Never mind. I don't even care about Counter Bulger anymore. I even, I'm just gonna go play FIFA, whatever. Sergio Rama. Oh my God. Dude. Honestly, out of everybody I've seen, if you put 11 Sergio Ramos on the field, I think they would beat a team of 11 anybody else right now. 11 Phil Joneses? Well, I mean, obviously. They stand no chance. Phil Jones for natural fitness. I can't believe he's only 30. It boggles the mind that Phil Jones is only 30 years old. How high do we have to go with the attributes until we find somebody whose attributes are all below a certain level? Yo, who said seven? Eero Hermakoski from Finland. I thought we'd be going for a while. Eero Hermakoski. You know what I will say? No ones. This dude is balanced. He brings it. Here's your challenge. Win the Champions League with Eero Hermakoski as a registered player. Get him on the field in the final. Is there anybody? We're going to get rid of the goalkeeping attributes because I feel like that'll throw this off for sure. Two month moment. Okay, so is at least 15. How low do we have to go until we get somebody who's got every attribute over it? My guess is probably 13. Oh yeah, the Mikel Oyathabal is, yeah, him or like Sergio Ramos or one of those guys is just good at everything. 13, I was wrong. 12, I feel like 12 is gonna have it. Yeah, oh, 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 who said that? Who said that? Where are you? Henners literally said Oyathabal was like, dude, I not only, Henners, said Oyathabal. It is Mikel Oyathabal. And the answer is 12. Every attribute he has is 12 or higher. Just search CA. Dude, we can't do that until the full game comes out and I am itching. Yeah, but there's only one God's power tower. Oh, he's worse this year. There is only one God's power tower. Forever a Dorfer's legend. <laughs> 50 Laren's like, I've been waiting for you to look him up for four hours. Uh, you finishing the Dorfer's? Uh, the Dorfer's story has uh, has come to a close. We will do like a nice wrap up. Um, I believe, not before we announce our beta save, but we'll do a nice, like a tearful wrap up of the Dorfer's save, which is kind of custom. Uh, before we start our, our first main save in FM23.